you know those films where you thoroughly enjoy it from the very beginning and you get to the end and you're in such an elated mood that you just want to cry. You're so thankful for this film because it's put you in such a good mood and allowed you to escape reality for two hours or so. This is what I had with Spirited. As soon as I saw the trailer for this, I knew I would like it. It's a 2022 film currently on Apple TV. It's a musical... Well, I was going to say it's a musical version inspired by Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. That's very true, but it's certainly one of the least A Christmas Carol-y films based on that film because it is unlike any loose adaptation I have ever seen before. It's directed by Sean Anders, written by Anders and John Morris, and we have Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds as the ghost of Christmas present and our protagonist Clint, our human protagonist Clint. In theory, the ghosts were once humans and we get to learn a lot about presents past, to, to, to use a confusing term. And present is there to try and show Clint the error of his ways, to try and obviously rectify his own future. But the present also has his own problems or things to focus on he might be given a chance to come back to earth if he retires and there's a lot of you know debate with him about whether or not that's going to happen obviously the main theme here is doing the right thing redemption changing your ways before it's too late this is of course at the core of uh is dickens's story but this is told largely through musical numbers being a big fan of musicals i lapped that up in its entirety and I will talk in a moment about the songs that are in it but I will just say first of all well first of all this is not what I was going to say but I want to say now that Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds are amazing together they work so well the on-screen chemistry is fantastic they've really brought to life these characters that I absolutely loved and they're just fantastic the film is very self-aware a lot of the humor the things that I found funny come from the film being self-aware and kind of breaking the fourth wall and that worked very well it worked fantastically well what was also brilliant is the direction and the camera angles and basically all of the cinematography everything about this film was visually gorgeous compelling absolutely stunning and from start to finish i could not take my eyes off of it i really truly adored it and i'm narrative driven I know some people love cinema because of the cinematography and the visual experience. Usually I'm driven by a good narrative. And the narrative is great, but I could not take my eyes away from this. It is honestly one of the most beautiful films visually that I've ever seen. But of course, we also have the soundtrack. There are none of the songs I disliked, and that's unusual because... With most musicals, there's at least one song that I just think is a weak link. It's not very good. It doesn't strike anything with me. That's not the case here. And I absolutely adored it. The music is by Dominic Lewis, the original score. And I'm trying to pick a favourite song. I think maybe Good Afternoon. Um, it is very difficult. For me, it's definitely a toss-up between Good Afternoon and that Christmas morning feeling. The choreography is incredible. The costumes are absolutely beautiful, which also helps to play with the visual quality of this. Um, the costumes are by Erin Benach, or Benach, I apologise if I've mispronounced that. It does obviously utilise Christmas's past and present and future. I won't talk too much about those because... That's obviously quite some of the core of the narrative and how the narrative develops, but I think it handled the flashbacks and flash forwards very effectively. It's largely very funny, but it does at one point get quite serious and it involves um it involves social media and to be honest, I feel like it didn't one hundred percent tackle that properly because I feel like all of the sympathy was going to one particular character, which I understand because his character was a victim of cyberbullying, but there didn't seem to be any repercussions for this character with what he did, because he did something that was quite horrible, or said something that was horrible, but in his past, when he was younger, like when he was like two years younger or something, and there just didn't seem to be any kind of repercussions. So I think, I understand the message, and it's a very important message, and I think they delivered the message well, but maybe needed to make it a little bit more balanced. 
But that aside, it's absolutely stunning. Octavia Spencer is fantastic um, as Kimberly. Really loved her character and the first song she sings, the name of which I don't know, but it's I think it's probably called The View From Here. You'll know which song I mean. Um, it's, it's beautifully done. Utterly stunning film. Very festive. Very funny. Quite important at certain points. Visually stunning. Choreography is brilliant. Costumes are fantastic. Beautifully directed. Beautifully edited. I'm going to have to watch it again. I really, truly adored Spirited.